Hi. Day two of the London Challenge, and by some miracle, we are still in the trade. So we might have scored yesterday, but we're still in. Roll the intro, jump on the screens, and see what the day brings. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Langer, and I am the daft, scruffy trader this week. And if you'd seen yesterday, you'd understand why I'm daft. It's because in some of the comments on the London breakout video I did last week, I was asked if I would trade it for a week and see whether it wins or loses. And stupidly, I agreed. It's not my normal way of trading, so I'm well out of my comfort zone. And this morning, looking at the screen of, well, it's not as bad as yesterday. It's sitting at 460 loss, whereas it close of play yesterday, it was well in excess of 550 and very close to a hard stop. So a little bit nerve wracking, but you have to stick to the rules and you have to follow it through and that's what i'm doing so what i'm going to do now i'm going to grab, grab myself another coffee because it is five to seven in the morning um remark the charts uh, because part of this is you don't put a trade on before 7 30 in the morning just to allow the German and French European opens to spike about a bit and see where the markets are going to take us today. So I'll go grab my coffee and whoa, 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 hold on, the co coffee's coming here. What is this for me? It is, yeah. Whoa, look at that. She even brought me my coat. Hold on. <laughs> You've got no clothes on. It's seven o'clock. <laughs> seven o'clock. Yeah. Whoa. Shouldn't really do that. The trolleys might be watching. They'll have another forearm like Popeye if they see you there like that. You ding dong! So might I actually. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, let's get the coffee. I'll jump on the screen and we'll mark it up and see what the day brings. <laughs> Time to go play with Winky. Hello. Okay, guys, here we are. So, still got the coffee. Might need another one. And let's see. So we are 20 past 7 in the morning. There you go. 7.15 candle. And we are waiting to crack it into one of these boxes. Each box is roughly 65 pips. So decent return if it goes through the boxes, which it did yesterday, but in the opposite direction. And as you can see, we are still in the trade by some miracle. It never stopped out. Uh, it reversed. And we'll, we'll see. See, it came right down. The hard stop was just under here. <laughs> and it went up and went away. Now, looking at this, if I widen this out just very quickly, You've often heard me talk about fibs and retracements from strong directional moves. Well, that's about as strong a sell-off as it gets. Um, pretty much yesterday, the bloody thing, as you could see, the general trend was up. Spiked me into the markets yesterday morning, around this time. Pop. Turned round, wallop. Never even looked back. You know, it was horrible day. Um, it was just a trend in one direction. But look, if I put my fib on here, from tip to toe, I often tell you it'll go 50% once it's found its bottom. Well, there's your 50% line. And it didn't quite make it, but it didn't half get close. And this is on a 15 minute 
uh, chart. So it's a little watered down. If you see that on a on a daily, that is coming up. And even so, it's still got very close to 50% because as you know, the markets are never perfect. So that was kind of yesterday. As you can see, it meandered along. You can see the range, broke out the range. The timing, because don't put any trades on before half past seven. Um, took it in, turned round, puff, out. And that's one of the pitfalls of a mechanical system. Um, it's just saying get in here and that, that's your lot. Um, at least if you have a little bit of discretionary, you can make an informed decision as to think whether it's valid or not. Uh, which I'm trying to do with this in a way, um, but it's still completely mechanical. Uh, so you just have to mark it out by valid zones based on past performance. Okay, And then the boxes act as target points and they're also kind of support and resistance because they'll contain the price for so long and if it breaks out, it's a fair bet it moves up and so forth and so forth. And that was uh, the, the Davis theory. And it's all based on the previous day's highs and breaks. We'll see how it goes. So we're up by seven. We're between the two ranges, so it's just a waiting game now, guys. So I'll switch the camera back on when it triggers and we'll run it through the day. Um, the targets from yesterday are still in place which is what you do, you leave it, you're building the positions up. And hopefully, we'll have a, a series of orders all down this side, stacked, and as it moves up, it's pain, pain, pain. Hopefully. But as yesterday proved, it doesn't always go to plan. So, day two. guys a day of twists and turns so yesterday panic stricken a little bit right down into the bowels of hell for a trader to see a huge loss and then having to hold that overnight uh, came into this morning trade was still there didn't get stopped out stuck to my plan uh, today set of rules similar breakout strategy based on a midpoint took the trade early morning as you saw let it run it is now gone right the way through all of those substantial losses that could have happened yesterday put those into profit and it's just on five o'clock so i've closed everything down for the night and what I have done is shut all of the small positions down just in case it does turn, puts them into negative equity again. All the others cashed out as normal. It's give us a profit today of £347.20. And there's still a runner which is currently sitting at £90 in profit. And if it returns and stops out, there'll be another £30 in the bank. Uh, and I'm just going to leave that stop where it is and I'll ratchet it up throughout the week as we go. So sticking to your plan and not getting frightened has paid off. Although 
it's had its moments and I can honestly say it's had its moments um, but manage your trades stick to your rules and have a solid plan and it can pay off and today it has um, yes there was a new spike earlier on this afternoon it could have gone either way and boy have I picked a week to be doing this challenge because we got non-farm payroll on Friday to contend with as well. <sighs> Don't ever say that I look for an easy life. Because it ain't happening. But that's trading. You have to roll your dice and see what happens. And that's what I've done today. Um, kept everything in place. And I've gone from nothing yesterday to a decent amount banked. So what I'll do tonight is I'll make a spreadsheet so we can keep an eye on the positions as they close off and keep the running totals and I'll, I'll have that ready for when I do the video in the morning. Okay, so that's it. Good day. Uh, I'll round it off now. Uh, do it all again tomorrow. And let's hopefully when I come to do the final summary on Saturday morning, I've got a big smile on my face. And Winky might be making me more coffee. Uh, because if this goes drastically wrong, trust me, she'll not be a happy girl. Um, so, there we go. More than Maria. Let's see what I can get in that coffee fund. Wishes well all. I'm going to round it up. And remember, do what you love. And the money will follow. See you on the next one.